Hey y'all, come on in, come on in. I got some rutabaga. I diced it up, boy, you know it's hell cutting these rutabagas up, boy. Woo! Huh? It's a task to do this, just to cut it. Peel it and cut it is a task. But anyway, we did it. And um, I'm going to put it in the pressure cooker and uh, get it started. I don't own any copyrights to this music, but this is one of my favorite songs, Dramatics. This is Pandora, just shopping, not buying anything. One of my favorites from the Dramatics. So we're just gonna put it in the pot. You can dice them. Sometimes I like to cook them with a tender, but they still shape like in cubes like, mm-hmm. And you bite in all that juiciness. So many different ways you can cook them. You can make it like mashed potatoes. But I like a little lumpy with the rutabaga. Yeah, I do like a little lumpy. I want all my rutabaga. <laughs> yep, so. And with this one, this time I'm going to, um, I'm going to use a little bacon grease on this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to use a... No, I don't want this. Wait a minute, y'all. Um, wait a I'm gonna use chicken instead of the meat. You can you can use smoked meat if you want, but I'm gonna go meatless with this. And I guarantee you, you don't always have to have meat, and the egg is gonna be so so good. So I'm gonna use the chicken better than bouillon. I'm gonna use a little butter. I'm gonna use some bacon grease, and I'm gonna use some sugar, of course, salt and pepper. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I like to make my own broth a lot. And that's basically just adding your hot water to your, uh, better than bouillon. Real simple. And you gotta remember, this here packs a lot of sodium. Remember that. And you can mix, if you really want to get cute, you can mix your beef and your chicken together. Ooh, I might. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I think I will. It is so much flavor. I'll be trying to get all my stuff out of here. Huh? We're going to get all that bouillon out of here. <laughs> yep. And I had that rutabaga in there, and I'm like, oh, I don't want nothing to go wrong with that. I love me some rutabaga, y'all. I can't stress enough how much I love rutabaga. Look at that. Get it all out. Again, I don't own any copyrights to this music. This is the easiest thing to make, too. It don't really take much or nothing to do this. It's very simple. Even though it's simple, you still want to put love in it, though, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Put some pepper in there. Oh, you look at so good to me. Oh. Can do. Put the sugar in there. Now you, I don't measure, so put some butter in there. And 
taste of that, you know, once it softens up and see if you need anything, you know, more than what I'm doing. You know? Because you might want, uh, yeah, you might, you want a, a different taste or you might want to add something different. You know, you can season it whichever way you like. And I'll put just a little beef bouillon in here too. Yep, just a little. I'm telling you how good it is when you mix it. I want, I want to do it too. <laughs> if I can get it open, that is. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to do it this way. Okay. There's hardly a little bit in here, so we'll just do it the same way. And then you just let it do what it do on the stove, and you come and you taste it, of course. Make sure it's the way you want it. Now, if you're going to use your smoked meat, you know you're going to boil that meat first, right? And then you put this inside of that, right? Okay. That's the only difference. And you can, like, smash it, like, for mashed potatoes, you know, if you want it like that. I'm going to leave mine a little cube. Yeah, I like the, the chunkies. That's the shy lights. Okay. And let's pour that in. What is that? Oh, okay. Let me already say, what is that in here? <laughs> I'm making a mess. Okay. Let's get that in there. There we go. All right. And we got that in there. And I have it in the pressure cooker, so we're going to pressure cook it. And here's our bacon grease. Of course, it's going to give it some good flavor. Put two nice big spoonfuls in there. Put the rest of that in, and we good. Now I'm going to put the, this is the pressure cooker. So... Right, and I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna let it take its time. And when it's done, I will come back and I will show you guys. Okay, so in the kitchen with Cindy too. You know what to do, right? Thank y'all for coming in, and I'll show you this when it's done. It's that simple, guys. But just make sure you just put some love in it. Loving the fingers. See you later.